Hi, I'm Deanna and I'm a registered dietitian. Nutrition affects not just your IBD symptoms, but your overall health and well-being. And without proper nutrition, the symptoms of your IBD can cause serious complications, including nutrient deficiencies, weight loss, and malnutrition. Protein energy malnutrition is an energy deficit due to a deficiency of macronutrients and many micronutrients as well. It can be sudden or it can gradually happen over time. It is common among patients with disorders that decrease your appetite or impair nutrient digestion, absorption, or metabolism. So people living with IBD are at an increased risk for developing PEM. And that's due to many factors such as reduced oral intake, malabsorption, chronic blood loss and protein loss, and intestinal bacteria overgrowth. PEM can be mild or it can be severe, and in severe cases, hospitalization is common. However, mild cases of PEM can be improved through a balanced diet while avoiding lactose if it causes diarrhea or GI issues. Treatment for PEM often involves replacement of nutrients if you're experiencing nutrient deficiencies. It involves following a high protein, high energy diet, and it also involves resistance training to build and maintain your muscle mass. So how do we do this? Some practical strategies to achieve this include eating four to six small meals or snacks every day, or eat every two to three hours. Eat the protein part of your meal first to ensure that that protein is being eaten before you feel too full. Replacing tea, coffee, or water with milk or milk alternatives to drink your nutrition. Preparing bulk meals and freezing leftovers on days where you feel more energized and stocking your cupboards with convenience foods that you can turn to when you're feeling less energized. Don't get too caught up on organizing your meals. So for example, eat any suggested meals or snacks at any time of the day, like dessert for breakfast or cereal for dinner. And last thing is to fortify your foods to enrich the nutritional content. So this means adding additional energy and protein to your meals or snacks without increasing the volume or size of those meals or snacks. So this means that you'll get more bang for your buck. So each mouthful that you take is, higher, is as high energy and protein as possible. So some examples of fortifying, fortifying your foods would be using something like powdered milk or skim milk powder. And this is something you, that is very versatile. You can add it to milk, soups, oatmeal, yogurt, smoothies, coffee, tea, mashed potatoes, pudding, sauces, um, and you can also use it for baking, muffins, pancakes, breads, cookies. It's very, very versatile. So I always recommend skin milk powder to my patients who are trying to maintain muscle mass or gain some extra weight. You can also make a high protein milk recipe with the skin milk powder. And it's just simply one cup of milk or milk alternative, plus a quarter cup of skin powdered milk, and then a teaspoon of vanilla for some flavor. Other ways to increase your energy and protein is by adding energy dense foods like avocado, nuts and nut butters, oils, eggs, tofu, cheese to your everyday meals and snacks. And finally, if you continue to lose weight unintentionally, your dietitian can recommend some protein powders or oral nutrition supplement drinks like Boost, Ensure or Resource. Some sample meal ideas to get you started um, would be avocado and egg on toast, Strawberry smoothie fortified with powdered milk and nut butter like peanut butter or almond butter. Roast chicken, mashed potatoes, and mixed veggies. And make sure you're eating that chicken first, like I mentioned, the protein first. Also veggie sticks with some type of creamy dip or soft cheese dip. Cream soup with garlic bread. And finally, chocolate milk.